People, can you please not bring your guns into Chipotle? That's what they're requesting after a bunch of guys carried military-style assault rifles into a Chipotle franchise in Dallas, Texas. Uh, they were promoting their open carry laws because you're allowed to, if you have a gun, you're allowed to openly exhibit it and bring it around into public spaces. Uh, but Chipotle would just prefer you not do that. Uh, they even issued a statement. The display of firearms in our restaurants has now created an environment that is potentially intimidating or uncomfortable for many of our customers. Of course, it went on to, uh, to go on and on and say, you know, so please don't bring guns into Chipotle. We'll give you the, the guacamole, but we're going to charge you extra. They always they make a big point of that. Do you ever yeah, notice that? Yeah, always. Really make a big dollar extra. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like yeah, I know it's guacamole. Yeah. 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 It's guacamole. It's not free. This yeah, is it's America. The nectar of the gods. I uh, understand it's going to be at a premium. Yeah. So these people that are bringing the guns there. Uh, th these are assault rifles. These are not just a, not, not just a handgun at a fast food joint. These are assault rifles, but they have a right to do it. So before we get jokey and glibby about them, should we defend their right to bring their weapons to Japan? I mean, you know, I'm slightly intimidated by saying no. I don't know if somebody's going to come out and like you know pull their weapons on me because. Good Lord, reading all of the comments underneath these articles, there is a large amount of people who really want that Second Amendment amendment upheld, Jesus. Um, you know, I think that there needs to be some type of parameter set, though. You know, it's not like, like, can I just push, like, my cannon in through the door and be like, just saying, this is busy. You know, I'm here to openly carry. I'd like a burrito bowl yeah, for like, my cannon. Hell? One for me and one for my cannon. Yeah, and I feel yeah. really bad for the, you know, burrito wrappers that need to come out and, you know, calmly ask Billy Bob to like put their assault weapon back in the truck. Like it just doesn't seem like a fair pairing, but. Yeah, so if you went into Chipotle and there was two guys sitting there with assault rifles on the table, what would you do? Well, I went to Costa Rica to a pizza hut and there was a guy outside with an assault rifle and it freaked me the hell out. But he, he was, was just, just a, he guard. Was a guard. Yeah. He was just a guard and he had an assault rifle. I, I get it. I mean, yes, these are, it's tough when it's like the way in which you display your right is really scary. Yes. You know, that's what everyone's afraid of. And I think they should solve this all by having different kinds of Chipotles. There's Chipotles <laughs> where you can't have guns, and then there's Chipotles where you can only have guns. And there's like an all-gun Chipotle. Like a Battle Royale Chipotle. Listen, well, I like the normal Chipotle. Like they ha they'll have these ones that have only, everyone has a gun. And then the normal Chipotles, where they have that trademark Chipotle knife fight every so yeah. often. Right. So basically in the South, that's where the gun ones are. And the knife fights, where the knife fights. I don't fights. know. There's lots of guns in all kinds of cities. I feel like people, you know, I just, I just want, I, you know, it's that I, I, I want them to be able to have their right on display. But, I mean, it's weird. Where, where are you going to put your assault rifle in the car outside? I mean, you want it with you. You don't want someone stealing that. I yeah. Don't know. So it's I... part of the problem, though, that when we have these talks about guns, that the comment section always, it's everyone demanding their right, that they immediately, if you even talk about this yeah. and say that maybe you shouldn't be allowed to bring an assault rifle into Chipotle, they immediately take that as they're coming for our guns. Oh, exactly. Which they can refuse you service if you have no shirt and no yeah, shoes exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. But if you're carrying your assault rifle with no shirt and no shoes, maybe they'll have to allow you in now. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that there needs to be a balance had, which is you can con carry a concealed weapon, which would make sense. You know, you have it on you still. Why do you need to flail it around? I just don't understand. Yeah, it's you know, a small like, penis thing, right? At the end of the day, as, you know, yeah. as yeah. the old joke goes, it's a small penis thing. Yeah, yeah that's it, the issue for me, at least. So this is really. Why did you yeah, look at me when you said small penis? No, I look at you in small penis, and for you, this is really and for an me, anti penis. He didn't look at me at all because he knows my penis is mighty. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finished that. Oh, no, 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 take it away. Is there anything Bring us else? home here. I, you know, I, 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 as long as I can still get diarrhea at Chipotle, <laughs> which is, happens all the time. Really? I love Chipotle. Me really? Too. I love Chipotle. Kind of like, I have to poop out the thing I just swallowed. Like, that's how fast oh, it is. You probably like, should see a doctor. I feel like Chipotle is like the Four Seasons yes, of Mexican me too. food. I don't know. It's just like so spicy. Some of that stuff is just so spicy. Try the mild uh, <laughs> sauce. I know. They always get like a little tiny thing of jalapeno in there and it lights your face on fire. All right, all right. We're going right. to go to Chipotle one of these days. We'll help with your order. Okay. And then we'll go from there. We're not going to besmirch Chipotle <laughs> on this show. <laughs>